How's it going, everybody? My name is Xenius, and welcome back to another episode of Tibby and Me. So, we have a long episode in store for us today, because I am going to be looking into the Pyramus quest. So, uh, I was looking around on the island for other things to do. Uh, the, the point that I am in in the Summer Feast quest is kind of at a standstill. Uh, so I, uh, there are moments in the, uh, Summer, uh, there are moments in the Summer Feast quest where you can't really do a whole lot. You just kind of are waiting around for the game to tell you that certain things are happening. So, like, whenever the locust are attacking the uh, farms when you're in northern whenever you're in area that you can't really do anything about the summer feast quest until that happens until you get the notification that the farms are being attacked so uh, i'm at that point in the game in this part of the story in this episode i'm just kind of waiting around for a, a farm to be attacked so i'm kind of looking for something else to do, so I'm just kind of exploring at this point. The particular cave that we're in here in Aria, the one I'm showing you guys right now, I really actually had never been in before. This is a brand new cave to me. I was just kind of wandering around Aria when I ran into it, and I thought I would give you guys a, a look at what it was and what all was in here. I didn't know what I would find in this cave. I just simply went into it, started recording, and uh, kind of hoped for the best. I saw this maze, and I knew immediately that there had to be something at the end of it that would be beneficial for me to do. Because I, I didn't think that they would make it that difficult to get into if there wasn't some sort of payout, some sort of reward. And, and that's exactly what happened, basically. Uh, uh, you'll see in a minute what it is. I do think this is tied into a quest somewhere. Um, here we go. A swarm of Lucas, uh, locusts rise in a farm in Yaba 2. Uh, that's one of the farms on another island that I didn't get to, simply because Yaba 2 is a higher level island, and I don't want to risk going there and dying like I did in Solomar. So basically, this uh, I, I think this cave is tied into a quest. There's a couple of chests over here on the left that you'll see in a minute that I found. And that's part of the reason why this is included in the video. I wanted to make sure you guys saw this and that you guys knew that uh, maybe this is a quest that you've been looking for. Maybe this is a cave that you needed to know about and didn't know where it was or something like that. So I wanted to show that. Uh, from these two quests, you get a parchment and some gold. Uh, the parchment is unreadable to me, so I don't, I don't know what that is. I don't know what it says. I, I can't help you out in that aspect. So, all right. So I am, uh, stop what you're doing on my farm. Uh, what are you doing on my farm? Sure, sure, you were just looking suspiciously at my pumpkins just by coincidence. I was not. Of course you were. I was not. Well, perhaps. Ha! I knew it. Everyone wants my pumpkins. You cannot get them for free, but you are lucky. To only today and only for you, these wonderful orange, juicy, refreshing, soup-suitable uh, pumpkins are on sale for $1,500. Uh, yes, I'm crazy if you don't accept this bargain. Well, uh, come to think of it, there's another deal. Did I not slow this down? This is ridiculous. I'm not able to read any of this. I'm so sorry, guys. Basically, uh, great. You know my pumpkins have that magical glow. That doesn't mean I am a wizard. There's a trick to it. There's a magical, ever-glowing candle in the ruins southwest from here. I always go down there to cut a bit from it so I can light the pumpkins. But for a while now, these ruins have been occupied by restlessness. Would you please go there and try to bring me that candle? I can tell you a nice ghost story then. Okay, I'll do it, sure. So, this is a part of the Pyramus quest. Uh, that's why I'm doing this quest. Hur hooray! Then go and bring me that candle. Now you have a, the glowing pumpkin. You will find it, I'm sure. Good luck. So the pumpkin, if you didn't see, it gives you back 50 health and 50 mana. It's not that much. I would say that's more of a lower level potion. It's not really that magical. I'm not really too impressed by it, but I... I kept it nonetheless because why not i might i might be in a pinch and i might need just that exact amount of health and mana so we'll see uh so the pyramus quest is one that i didn't really finish i ran into pyramus uh 
towards the start of my Ashmore adventure, whenever I was trying to do the main quest of the game. So I kind of dismissed it and didn't really pay it much mind because I wanted to be focusing on the main quest. So I thought with me trying to get up in uh, experience, I thought it would be a good idea for me to go ahead and do this quest so that I could gain the experience that I needed. One of the things I've been looking into is getting different pets because one of the disadvantages that I have right now is my pet, my wolf, only does hit damage. And the one thing that these guys, all ghosts in general, can't be hurt by are, are hit damage. So the problem I'm running into is I can't have any help from my pet. Like he could, he could be there to take hits, but he wouldn't be that much help in any other aspects. Uh, and I don't really want to bring him out just to get hit. Uh, that just doesn't seem fair. I know it's just a game, but I still want to take care of my pet like I would in real life. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's a moral thing, basically. So that's that's what I'm doing here. Uh, I don't. I'm, I'm genuinely thinking, I have the stuff to get a Spirit Catcher now. I've done enough mining, and I was able to get Topaz Emerald and a lot of different things like that along the way while I was mining. Uh, even in, in uh, recent days, I've been mining consistently in order to get new stuff so that I could, I could make more Spirit Catchers. And I have the stuff for it, I just haven't decided on what I want it to be yet. Uh, I'm I'm looking into it. I'm doing some research onto different types of attacks that would be useful. I've thought about uh, the bat because they do holy damage, and I think the shonky does too. Uh, I can't remember exactly what uh, creature, what pet does uh, damage like that. I, I'd have to do more research into it going on. But as far as I know, I think my next pet is going to be something that does holy damage. And I, I'm not doing a whole lot on Ashmore anymore, so it doesn't really matter a whole lot. Like, it's not... Uh, it isn't really, really uh, pressing that I get a pet that does holy damage, but it's something that I want to look into just because it's, it's something that is hindering me. Like, I'm going through this cave very, very slowly because of that. Because I can't just blow through it like I normally do with a pet. So it's it's something that's uh, slowing me down a little bit. So I thought it would be a good idea. I'm also looking into Pets of Darkness. Uh, you don't have to have a Spirit Catcher for those. You can just buy them right out of the store. So I am probably going to do that as well. I, I don't know which one I would get. Probably Skeleton maybe. I, I Again, I haven't really done a whole lot of research into them. Oh, there's my Magical Candle. Thanks. Now I can make even more Glowing Pumpkins as a sign of my gratitude i hereby solemnly give you one gold don't look at me like that okay you get 200 gold now about that ghost story i heard a, a story about pyramus uh, pyramus or whatever he's called they say he's been cursed because he killed somebody and that girl Th thisbia helped him at least i think so and now he has to hover over the swamp until he finds deliverance some people even say they saw a ghost there spooky isn't it a murderer that's now a ghost <laughs> what more do it look like a history book but you could ask the old crazy lady Aluka in the woods north of here. She is really strange and consistently mumbling to herself. And she's got that huge pot or cauldron or always something brewing yucky. Uh, it's quite a way north and a little west. Now get out! I have customers. Now Aluka is, uh, as he said, straight north of here. Uh, it's really, really easy to find. I think I've run into her once before. So uh, it's... Uh, you should know where she is, and I'm going to show you anyway, so... Excuse me, guys. Sorry about that. I, uh... Sorry about that. I don't know what's, uh, what's gotten into me. I, I've been sneezing the past couple of episodes. I don't know what it is, but it's only when I record. Uh, I was recording Knights of the Old Republic the other day, and I had the same problem where I, I ran into... Uh, I had to uh, take a minute to sneeze. Sorry about that. Anyway... Aluka is uh, right north of here and a little west, if you will see on the map. I, I literally don't know where my uh, my webcam is right now. Probably on the left side. Uh, so the map should be visible that you can see it on the uh, north and left side over here. So 
should be fairly easy. Yep, right here. Hush, look, the moon is high. We like the moon. Where's my spoon? Guards, we don't do that hard stuff anymore. It went really wrong a long time ago and shredded pimple crackers. If you need to make somebody really quiet, go somewhere else. We had enough of this. Too much suffering. Are you okay? Uh, or did I ask? Are you okay? Are we okay? We don't know. Yes, no, red, green, live, die. What does it matter? In the end, they all die or get cursed or both. Only one can end the end. One that comes from... Wait, where do you come from? And where are uh, the guards? Is your name Xenius? How did you know? How do we know? Saw it in our crystal balls. Somebody would come and end the curse. Wait, I'll have to take a sip from my famous herbal tea. You are the one we saw there, as clearly as can be. Strange. Haven't had such a clear mind for a long time. What's the curse? Uh, which witch is which? Which course is cursed? There was a time of two twins, two kings, both full of hate. Each brother had his own castle and his gener own generals, Lark, Talk, and Bratis. So with their never-ending hate and blindness, they let their followers fight against each other. And then... And then the residents of Ashmore killed each other every day. And it was unbelievable bloodshed and terror, and nobody could trust anybody anymore. And they fought on until there was almost nobody left. Why? Why was there war? There was a never good cause for it, but I know that there were two generals, L Lartok and Bratis, and somehow Lartok tracked his king into war. He, uh, he even forged letters. Uh, Tisba, yes, do you know her? Pyramus, the son of the other great Bratis? The Pyramus is cursed. I don't know why exactly, but I own his heart. What? Uh, not figuratively. I really have it here in a bag. Yes, his heart is soaked with hate. Had it in that chest for a few years. Who knows when you need a hate-soaked heart for some nice potion. But my crystal ball saw you and the heart in the castle north of here. Maybe I should give it to you. My crystal ball never lies. Yes, I will give it to you, but not without helping me first. I knew it. Seems you are intelligent. Okay, listen. You do for me the following. My herbal tea need helps me think clearly, but my herbs are gone. I need my bag of herbs. The other day, I left it in the witch's cavern. We celebrated a witch's night there. I must have left it in a locker, maybe in a chest. The entrance is just over there in the forest near my house. Okay. The herbs are really, really easy to find. You don't have to worry about it. You could go in at probably level 20. Because I think it's bats in there. I genuinely don't remember. I, I don't remember what you need to go in there. We'll find out in a minute. So as I was saying, I think I'm going to look into the Pets of Darkness. Because uh, they're, they're in the store and there's really no other way of getting them. I don't see a reason why you shouldn't get them. Uh... So, I actually, I go back to the town and I get stuff that I need. Uh, I, I get an energy weapon because if I'm facing bats, I kind Wait, what is their attack? I forget what their attack is. I, I know that bats take uh, energy damage. That's their weakness. So, that's, that's what I go into town to get. Um, but the Pets of Darkness, I've looked into a couple different options. At the level that I'm at now, I can get Skeleton, Zombie... Uh, and, and I think a like. I think I can get a like as well. I think that one might actually be cool. But I don't really know what's best right now. I've kind of looked at different things. Uh, like their attack output. As well as their uh, health pool. I don't necessarily want to tank really. Although that might be a good option. Because if I keep rushing into situations where I'm taking on lots of opponents. I'm going to need something that can take a lot of hits. Because I, like, uh, I'm taking a lot of hits. I don't have a, a massive amount of health, and neither does my wolf. But we're making do, and we're doing the best we can. So I don't, I don't want something that has low health. Um, I, I know the base health for most of them is like 126. And the one for tanks are around 152 or something like that. Um, but I, I haven't really decided. But... Let me know down in the comments below what you think I should get. Uh, I, the first four, the four lowest ones, are the ones that I know that I can get. So if you could choose from those four, please do. And let me know what you would 
what you would like to see me have. Um, because I, I haven't really decided yet, and I know that I really do want a pet of darkness, so it's going to happen eventually. I just don't know when, and I don't know what I'm going to get, because it's purely situational when I would use them. Sometimes the wind tells stories, too. Guards! An intru- Oh, it's you. Thanks for my bag. Now I can finally brew my famous herb tea again. Now there's a reward, and although I think it is more like a burden. Anyway, take Pyramus's stained heart and bring it to the castle. Maybe you can lift the curse. Good luck. Thank you so much, Aluka. All right. So the first thing you need to do is talk to James. Uh, one of the things that I made the mistake of is I talked to James and I didn't really tell him everything. I was like, eh, I don't really want to get into a castle tour. Um, so I had to come back and talk to him. Uh, should I give you a short castle tour? Very well, the castle was built 354 years ago by the great king Tib Tibanus. I, it was built right on the a lake where the king and the brother were born. On the left side, you will see the entrance of the quarters, kitchen, dining rooms, far below, blah, blah, blah. Oh, the curse! This is my favorite story. Actually, it's Ashmore's history. Listen, there were two kings. Both had one general. One general's daughter was Tisba, an innocent, beautiful woman. The other general's son was Pyramus, a noble, well-behaved young man. Uh, don't interrupt my re uh, recitation, please, sir, I mean. But Tisba's f uh, father forbade their love because he did not like Pyramus's father in the slightest. Blah, blah, blah. He consulted an old witch in the forest and let her make him a sweet-smelling but very deadly potion. He gave this potion to Tisba as a gift to, to her father. Uh, the... Uh, she took the curse very well. Sadly, she did test it. As soon as the first little drop, drip touched her skin, she dropped dead, and there she lay, so young and innocent and dead. Uh, that's why the gods will curse all of Asmore, and this is why the Pyramus is still hovering around Ashmore's swamps. Pyramus killed the one he loved most, and this is why his heart is soaked with hate. You do? You surprise me. Sir, maybe you can clean his heart. You, would you go, please, please go to where the twins were born and lift the curse right at the source. Uh, so, yeah, I do have to go to the left. Um, again, the, um, ghosts are here, so I can't really have my wolf help me, which really, really does suck, because of all the places that I would need my pet to help me, this is it, because literally it is so difficult to fight through this one corridor. Uh, I had the same problem last time with the cults and the cult members on the right side of the castle. They were all in this one little tiny corridor, and even with my pet, it was such a hard task. And now I'm a higher level, now I can take more damage and have more mana and do more spells, but it's still such a difficult thing for me to do because there are literally so many of them in this one little area. I would highly recommend doing this with a pet that has holy damage if you can manage it, if you have one. And if you have a friend, I would highly suggest that you do that too, because this is a very difficult quest to work your way through. But uh, a very worth it. I really like this Pyramus side quest. I really think it's a cool little... Uh, uh, detour away from the main quest of Ashmore. It, it makes sense as to why Ashmore is now cursed because of this quest. So if you had the chance to do it, please do because it's a, I think it's a great story. So the other thing that I'm thinking about doing is I've looked in the marketplace and as you can see up at the top, I have 750 platinum uh, to get a spirit catcher bundle, which gives you all of the uh, gems that you need, topaz, emeralds, and all that jazz, it only costs 50 platinum. So it would be very, very easy to go ahead and do that, to go ahead and get the uh, stuff that you need. <clears throat> Excuse me. It'd be very, very easy to go ahead and do that and just get a pet of your choice. And I, again, I haven't even looked into it. I don't even know what I would get on a secondary basis. From what I can tell, one of the things that I seem to be fighting more is stuff that takes fire damage. Especially with the St. Nibbles timeline and that main quest, that main story taking place on St. Nibbles right now. The main thing that I probably might be needing right now is something that can do fire damage. Uh, I, I am able to use my pet wolf there, so I'm not super worried uh, about the 
I'm not super worried about needing a pet in that island because I can use him, but it might be more beneficial for me to take something that is able to do fire damage. And I, I haven't done a whole lot of research into that. I don't really know what creature would be best to uh, make my pet that is able to do fire damage. Um, especially at a lower level. Uh, I don't really know much of anything that can do a fire damage that is able to be a pet. That's something I'm going to have to do more research into because I haven't really... I haven't really thought about it, I guess. I, I've mostly been focusing on something with holy damage and one of the pets of darkness. So I'll definitely be looking more into that once I finish this episode here. This is the chamber where you find Visba just kind of floating around. She's right there, as you can see. And you're, uh, you're basically able to finish the quest right here and now. Well, not really finish it. You have to go talk to Pyramus once you're done with her. So... All right. Oh, you're not Pyramus, obviously, but I got his heart. You know him? You got his heart? Then I can finally lift the curse. You know, all these years I felt nothing but love for him. Yes, he made a grave mistake, but not by killing me. The mistake was that he thought he could solve everything by murder. You died. Oh, yes, I died. It was not pleasant, but I have forgiven him long ago. The hardest part was to be separated from him for so long, but now the wait is over. If I now touch his heart, it will be cleansed from all evil and the curse will be lifted. Will you please show me his heart? Uh, here, please, cleanse it. Thank you. Yes, I can feel his heart beating again. Please bring his heart back to him and tell him, tell him that I love him and that I will be waiting here. Uh, sure, yeah. Thank you so much. I didn't realize how far I was down. Uh, it says go up five levels. And here's Pyramus. Oh, there you are, Xenius. Found something interesting? Oh, yes, I did. Tell me, tell me. War. Oh, my God's a war because of me? All cursed because of me? No, I killed my dear love, Thisba. How could I be so blind, so angry? I. You've cleansed my heart. How can I ever thank you? What, you've seen her? She is a ghost? She has forgiven me? She said that she still loves me? Oh, I love her more than ever. I need to go her to her, but I cannot leave this half uh, this half world. Uh, never mind. If I can be with her again, I don't mind being a ghost. Thank you so much. Now, excuse me. I have to think about what I will say to her. There is, little, uh, there is a little something for you. Uh, I got a holy robe. So that is basically the Pyramus storyline on... Ashmore. It's really, really simple. There are parts that are harder. The part in the castle where you are going to see Thisba in order to cleanse the heart is very, very difficult, and you aren't able to use a pet unless they can uh, do holy damage. So I would highly recommend that you bring a friend or just be very, very careful when you go into that area. So, yes, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, please drop a like down below. I'm on World 15. If you guys want to come and join me and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.